people come to us, there's usually a conversation around life insurance. You know, we did something some time ago. It was five years ago when we got married, seven years ago when we bought our first house. We put something in place. It's X amount of dollars of insurance. And you know what? A lot has changed since then. So there's always some confusion around, do we have the correct amount? Is the amount appropriate or optimal? And when we ask our clients, what would you want to have happen to your family if a death occurred? We really get different responses, but the most common response that we get is, I really like nothing to change. The point that I would want to make for people is that these types of circumstances, there is no shortage of data. And the reason we always roll it out is that the, the next 12 months, six months, 12 months, these different time periods following a big event like this, a big crisis that, that where fear dominates, generally the next 12 months, the market returns look really attractive. Stick to your plan, stay invested. I sit in front of the flows for a big chunk of, of, of BlackRock and I can see what comes in and out of the funds on any given day in the multi-asset area. And it never fails. There's two primary goals and they're simple enough. Um, I think most of us on this call would agree that uh, if something happens to us, we would wanna make sure that our family is protected and the second thing we want to do is just make sure we don't leave behind a big mess. Now, everybody says these things in different ways, but conceptually, the nugget, the, the, the theme that kind of weaves through every discussion I ever have with my clients are these two things. It is how can your work help to protect my family and how can we ensure that I don't leave behind a big mess? In 2021, we're going to have a very effective reopening of this economy. But we're going to have inflation. This money ain't disappearing. We're going to have three, four, five percent inflation for two, three, four years. Bond yields are going to rise, as I mentioned, ending the 40 year bull market in bonds. But this is important. My historical studies show that stocks do very well in exactly this sort of moderate inflationary environment. Four or five percent is almost a, a sweet spot for stocks. Because why? Because stocks are claims on real assets. So the first thing is addressing the difference between accumulation and distribution as two distinctly different phases of wealth. The second is understanding the horizon of time in which this planning occurs. And the third is the role in which protection must play as a parallel path, both while accumulating and eventually spending wealth down in retirement. This uh, speaks to the third consideration I mentioned before, which is understanding the role that protection and asset accumulation must play as a parallel series of discussions always. Rate of return as the central focus and attributes of one's plan is a valid approach. It is a correct approach but it is not a complete approach because it doesn't ensure success always.